Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube, wherever you are, and welcome to this week's recap of the Bungie Weekly Update. Bungie revealed the Trials of Osiris earlier this week, joined by community guest Triple Wreck. They revealed gameplay and detail the new game mode. Trials of Osiris is a special crucible event in the House of Walls expansion. The new PvP mode features 3 vs 3 elimination gameplay, which gives each player one death per round. First team to wipe out all three players on the opposite team wins the round, first team to win five rounds wins the game. In keeping with the game mode saying strictly competitive, you must enter the playlist with a team of three and you will be matched against other teams of three. Winning is the key as eight wins will net you the best reward for each week and if you hit three losses you will need to purchase supplies to enter again. Trials of Osiris will run every week from Friday through to Tuesday and each week will feature a different map. If you missed the live stream reveal, you can catch the full archive on Bungie's YouTube channel. Next up, the reveals on Wednesday, the 6th of May, Prison of Elders is to be revealed in a live stream at 11 a.m. Pacific time, with community guest Professor Broman joining the event. Shortly before the House of Wolves drops on the 19th of May, players will download the 1.2.0 update for Destiny. Here are some of the details: Iron Banner spawn locking issues will be fixed. Legendary items will be added to post-game reward tables for all Crucible playlists. Your first match in the daily featured Crucible activity will earn you a new reward package each day. Reputation and mark gains will double for each completed Crucible match. Etheric Light will become available for acquisition from Lord Saladin upon reaching rank 3 and rank 5 in Iron Banner. And finally, Dark Below maps Pantheon, Skyshock and the Cauldron will be added to the standard rotation for selected playlists. The Bungie store now includes a special edition t-shirt in aid of the Nepal earthquake relief effort. The t-shirt includes an exclusive in-game shader and emblem and all the profits will be donated to recognised charities that have direct relief efforts in Nepal. Bungie will be taking pre-orders of the shirt between now and Sunday the 24th of May at midnight pacific. CyberTurd's montage of fails entitled Mark of the Broken is Movie of the Week. And that's it, thank you for watching, stay tuned for more Destiny news.